I think I've already crossed off about 10 items of the 44 straight away yeah. that we're not interested in now. We've taken copious amounts of notes, haven't we? Welcome back to M's Den. Um, we are Paul and Marie, and we thought we'd um, do something a bit different. A bit different, huh? This, this time... Yeah, we, we love an auction. We do love an auction. We were talking to Sophie, weren't we, on um, SB Reselling's channel last night. Yeah. And she mentioned that um, she hadn't bought anything from auction and um, was asking us a few tips and bits of advice. And yeah. funny enough, we, we were due to go to the auction today, so we sort of thought we'd make a little bit of a, a mini-series about mi it. A little mini-series, More yeah. in-depth yeah. videos. Um, about um, what to look out for, the sort of things you should be doing at auction, just mm. based on some of the, the mistakes we've made in the past and what we've learnt from our years of buying at auction, yeah. really. Yeah. That's so true. we're sort of breaking this series into um, separate videos of phases. This is going to be phase one, hun. Phase one. Phase one, which we're calling Looking and Narrowing Down. Mm. So... At the minute, um, what we've done is you've printed out a list, hun, haven't you, of all the catalogue items. Yep. This is the sort of auction where you have two viewing days and then they um, split their items up so they're having a fine arts auction one day and then a general auction the next day. That's what they tend to do. That's what they tend but to do. But this time round, sometimes when they don't have enough stuff, they lump it all together. Mm. So what they've done here is they've lumped it all together. So but, the first section of the day, on the, on the auction day, yeah. the first section will be the fine arts and, and all that, and then um, and then the rest of it is the, like the general auction. Yeah, so to be honest with you, the fine arts stuff, some of it can be thousands of pounds. Mm -hmm. We're not looking at any of that. We're not looking at that. <laughs> we are going for the general tat, which is... Which is um, <laughs> they don't call it that, by no, the way. No, but it's tray boxes full of things, isn't it? Um, that's sort of what we yeah. go for, to see if we can get a bargain. Mm. Now, there's some things to be very aware of. Um, the reason we've called this looking and narrowing down is because before you even get to the auction, you have to do your homework. You have to be really aware of what the fees are. And th in this particular auction, hun, it's roughly about 30%, isn't it? That's what it works out. Once you've added all your VAT and everything and your, your, your premiums and, and all mm. that sort of thing, then, um, and because we bid online as well, there's a slight, slight thing for thing. that. So, um, you know, all the fees add up and we, we work it out roughly about 30% on top. Yeah. Um, but every auction house is different, so yes. that is one key thing: is is making sure you're fully aware of the auction house fees before you go, before you even start bidding, because you don't yes. want to get stung with a massive. Um... No. So what the hammer price is when they say sold on a particular item, say it's ten pounds, you know that we are going to have another thirty percent on top so of we're that. So we're paying thirteen pounds. Look at me with my math skills hey, there. They're I'm getting showing better. off, getting better. <laughs> um, and the the reason we sort of like to know that is because sometimes you can get swept up in an auction and go, oh, it's only I, I can bid another two pound, or it's not mm. two pound, because you've got to add on that thirty percent all the time. So before you know it, you've spent quite a lot of money. So you do have to be quite strict. So mm. auction fees we've covered. We just want to talk briefly before we go in and and have a look at what we've um, we've sort of selected. We mm. want to briefly talk about the condition. Now, we've bought from auction in the past and we've um, learned that you don't buy blind. If mm. you're interested in something and you are local, go along and have a look because um, it's very easy to assume that the stuff that's in the boxes is going to be good. Now, you're mm. looking at um, the people that have put these boxes into auction um, have probably bought them from auction already, cherry-picked all the best bits, and then they've put what they don't want back into the boxes, put them back into auction. That tends to be a lot of yeah. what happens. Mm. It's house clearance stuff, so you're going to get, um, in some of these tray boxes, um, and I want to say tray boxes, hun, that is like a, like what they have fruit in. Yeah, yeah you, in know, middles, you know, that Liz, sort or the, of, the veg box, you know, yeah. that they display, the, it's, it's that sort of When we refer to tray, tray box, box yeah. that's what in this auction, maybe different in other auctions in this auction, yeah. that's what you a lot, see of, a lot stuff of those, a lot of those yeah. is contained within. And it's just a lot of jumbled stuff into tray boxes, mm. but you are looking at stuff being chipped, damaged, broken, cracked. Yeah. Um, we bought something once and it was um, a lovely pot and the head was missing. No, it yeah. wasn't there at all, was it? No. So people are, you know, are, are trying to look, make their boxes look like there's volume. So you do have to be aware of that. If you're buying plush, don't assume it's going to be clean plush. We've bought stuff that's been dirty, stuff that needs washing. If you're buying um, 
sometimes you see vintage game lots they go really well but you've got to assume that there's bits missing from everything you can't assume that someone's counted the pieces and it's going to be okay because more often than not they're not okay mm. are they there's bits missing yeah same with jigsaw we've seen um, vintage jigsaw bundles you've got to assume that they are not complete so it's really having a, a low expectation of what the condition the stock's going to be like mm. before you sort of start wildly bidding because mm. you you will only be disappointed so let's have a look what else have i covered so on today's one hun there are 814 items wow but listings so listings lots. Lots. lots but most of that is is the fine arts which we would not be interested in at all mm. so what we've done and we've spent an hour so far this morning going through the list so paul's printed off um oh yeah you got the list lists so i don't, I don't see, that. see that sort of thing and but... it just gives you a rough idea of um of what the the lot number what the item is we always turn up to the auction with a list yeah. Um, because what we want to do beforehand is to circle what items we are roughly interested in. And in this particular auction, there are 44 items I've circled. Now, this is this is items <laughs> we are mildly interested in yes. and we want to know a little bit more about them. So it's not things we're going to be bidding on. It's things we... This phase one is looking. looking we've looked assessing. at the list. We've assessed... There's 44 that we're sort of interested in. Yeah. Now it's a case of narrowing it down because, you know... For, we wouldn't be able to afford to buy 44 lots we wouldn't have the van big enough to take 44 lots no um and we've got no chance of getting that volume sometimes when we've bid on 30 lots we end up coming away with two or three yeah that, so, that's the thing you know, i mean it's a bit of a lottery it is yes yeah um, because it's, it's really how who's in on the day yeah. and how popular an item is and um yeah you you have to be strict with your bidding don't you and also times of year make a difference if it's in the summer um, lots of people have access to boot sales and you can source easy from boot sales so the prices aren't quite as high as they are in the winter when you can't source so much so it's bearing you know it can be quite seasonal so it's bearing that in mind as well yeah so really i think um you know we're going to go and have a look this yeah. is thursday isn't it and the auction's on monday on monday yes um yeah. so we're go here look. to look mm. And to really narrow down of those forty-four, what I, what lots, if any, are we actually interested in bidding for on Monday? Yes, and the, yeah. And then we obviously got all research and everything. That'd to be do phase now. two, That's huh? Phase That's next two. video. This I'm video. Jumping ahead there. <laughs> this video is just going to cover us now going into this gorgeous building. This is a lovely um, old building. It is. It's um, very and nice. having a look round, and we're taking you with us so you can have a look and see, mm. see, um, have a laugh at some of the tray boxes. It is just literally stuff just bundled into them, isn't it? But sometimes that's the interesting thing. We bought one once with just random assortment of stuff, and there was a little Wedgwood saucer. Mm. and um, we didn't think anything of it. When we looked it up, um, it was worth, and I think we sold it for £40. Mm. And now we've learned about Wedgwood sauces. Yeah. So you can get anything and everything at this sort of auction. So we're going to take you in and have a look, aren't yes, we? Yes, um, footage-wise, we'll do our best. Um, <laughs> but um, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky um, filming in the, this sort of sort of place. It depends so, on the people are there as well. It can be quite yeah, busy. it can be quite busy. So um, hopefully we'll have some reasonable footage for you yes and, and another thing to bear in mind is um is to have an, a sense of idea of what you're going to be looking for in this auction there's always lots of tray boxes of glass which goes for ridiculously silly money doesn't it like mm. 10 pound for like three boxes um <laughs> but we have a policy where we don't buy glass we've we don't we've had you know, we've had quite a lot of even though they're extremely well wrapped yeah we have a lot of breakages on the on the glass side of it so it's just um, not worth the so risk we, for we, us is it we sort of you know, if something's worth quite a bit of money and you're getting it reasonably cheap, then yeah, we will give it a go. But mm. I think generally we we sort of tend to steer clear of glass items, don't we? Yes, yeah. but if you had a man cave or um, a sort of antique shop and you wanted to get glass, it's a cracking yeah. place to get glass from because it goes oh, yeah. really silly, doesn't it? Silly prices. Yeah. Um, but yes, we're going to go and have a look now because I can't wait. We've not been to an auction mm. for many, many months now. It's been now. a long time. It's been a long time. We, we absolutely love the auction, but yeah. it has been a long time. Um, but yeah, so... We have looked, though, but what we've had in the last few months is when we've looked, we've only had two or three things on our list that we were interested in. Sometimes yeah. it's not worth the time going and looking for yeah, that. Yeah, travelling to it and looking at it. Yeah, it's that's not it. It's not it. worth it. time. You, it's got to be worth your while doing. Yeah. Um, for the amount of hours that, that you're you're spending... Um, you know, without uh, you know pre 
pre-auction sort of thing. That's it. And when we get to um, the end of our, because this will span a few videos, when we yeah. get to the end of it, we'll give you a total of how much. Because sometimes you can amass quite a few hours. And then um, when it comes to bidding day, if, if you're outbid, you've done all the, those hours and actually come back with nothing. So. Yeah. So you do have yeah. to factor that in, you, you know, to be interested in doing an auction, there has to be a few items that you're sort of yeah. interested in to make Definitely. it worth your while. Mm. So I'll stop waffling now, yeah. hon. Should we get in there? <laughs> Let's get in get there. Get in and see what's there. Yeah. This is a... It's all magazines, isn't it? That's why because it's one of the Yeah. It's a lot, isn't it? It's all the same. Yeah. Um, there is some um, quite a few lots of records like this bit's in his collection. Right. Look at these two desks. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot of brass in there, isn't there? You've got pictures of all these online, have you? So I don't need to take if any pictures. Could. So let me write some of the numbers. Down. Yeah. Oh, do you think it's like a museum or something? Or just, why would you I don't know. It's this... Where's the original record sleeves? Oh, hang on. It's, these are 78s. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's probably how they were originally. I think one lot, and that might be another lot. There's two or three lots, I think, so. Christ, quite a lot of records. <coughs> So I've got five, nine, five. Is that something here? Here, right, here? This is the um, four boxes of plush. Oh, one, two, three, four. On a different shell. But it's this sort of thing, need to use. There's someone's collection, wasn't there? It's all yeah. the need to use stuff. There's quite a lot, isn't there? Yeah, it's, right. it's how dirty is it? Yeah. It's a 581. Shelf of tat. Yeah. <laughs> so, so four boxes. There's a duvet set here, but a new duvet set. How random. <laughs> Yeah, there might be the odd thing in there, but I think generally. What have we got there? Five sevens. There's nothing on this side, though. No. Uh, six oh six. Six oh six. No, that's China. I didn't see this. Um... <coughs> nice stuff, but it's yes. not. Well, it depends if it goes cheap, cheap. What is it? We've had it before, I think. What, this one? Yeah, that's so. Alright, 6.13. Yeah, it's got those wooden bits behind there, look, my love. It's got a couple yeah. of brassy bits in there. Little plates. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I've got down the bottom there. 6.16. Oh, should we pull that out? Oh, it's this clock as well. Yeah. Well, it looks a bit... 
let's have a look at Elizabeth. Oh, they're old. Yeah. The pin badges. Yeah. Nice yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'll do research on those pin badges. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. What have we got? It's Olympus camera. Old Olympus camera, looks of it. It's got a bit of damage. Oh, so you can call that. That's that there. Handy cam video eight. Okay. Is it all of this here, is it? Yeah. What's that there? Yeah. He-Man. Oh, he man figures. Oh. Yeah. I haven't got it written on here, but it was quite a lot of money, I think. 636. Oh, what, on the... Yeah. yeah. Now, okay. you've got this. You've got the old... Um... Evesham, is it? Yeah. What's that going there? Oh, what's it? Okay. Nice to meet you. Three boxes. Yeah. Grand watch. Six two five look, it's a it's a crossing signal. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You can't count that. No, I think you can only guesstimate on that one. <laughs> yeah, four nine zero. about 20, 20 figures, a couple of vehicles. Yeah. It's a little bit worn. Nice with some wheels as well. Yeah. There's nothing no, about the 
Yes, I think we have any value in there. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Way too oh, much. Okay. Oh, we're nearly there, aren't we? Let's go around yeah, let's go around there. Yeah. Careful, it's got costume jewelry as well, so it's going to go for costume jewelry. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's going to go for. What's that then? Oh, is that that? Well, no, it's not a lot of it. Yeah, it's going to be Someone's written. Uh, Isn't it lovely. The pictures. <laughs> Sally. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Huh. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> What's all that? Four is meant to be a quantity of rug rat for this. Uh, okay. Oh, are they hidden? That's not rug rat, is it? No. Mm. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. 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 Yeah. Oh, Mm. Yeah. Okay. This, oh, yeah, we don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. What about from, you? Want to look at four nine five? Can you? Well, that one there. Yeah. Paperweights and handbags. Sometimes you get a bag. Oh, right, so that's, that's there. Oh, paperweights in that one then. Hmm. Mm. And then just like basically, you know, something to do with. Um, Concord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like Collect 994, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, that might be. Okay. Is it going to be that as well? Yeah, um, well, um, yeah, I think yeah. so. 495 is those three, I think. Yeah. Let's look at the handbags. Does it say this, this one in the description? Are we nearly there, do you think? I think we probably are. Let's double check in now. Sort of feet are telling me they're enough. <laughs> we need a coffee. Yeah, I mean, I think there might be some things that I missed, but. Well, we're back in the car now. Oh, goodness, Hannah, it's so cold. It is really Mate, cold in it's there. It's so today. cold in there, even though it's quite a mild day, it's absolutely yeah. freezing there. Yeah, we've very been in cold. there. How long have we been? About an hour? hour I think just over an hour, just hour, an hour and hour. five, hour and ten, something like that. Um, so, um, so, yeah, not too bad. Not as much stuff no. as they, they might be used the time to be. Of year. Might be the time of year. Yeah, possibly. And they've got a section closed off as well, haven't they, that yeah. we would normally go in. So, um, but yeah, I mean, still plenty of stuff to look at. Yeah, and some of the stuff um, were, that we did look at was in really poor condition, wasn't it? We did, yeah, there was I a, mean, we did, um, um, hopefully there was enough footage uh, before for this for you to see. Um, and um, yeah, it wasn't the best condition, was it? No, but, and I don't know if, if that's to do with the time of year. You know, things like um, windscreen wipers where the, the packaging <laughs> was all mouldy, um, you know, yeah. damage. We saw some um, some plush items in boxes that were just 
really dirty and mm. um i think i've already crossed off about 10 items of the 44 straight away yeah that we're not interested in now we've taken copious amounts of notes haven't we um, yes, which we is what have we do. We, loads of notes. we count items so that we can get an idea of how much to price them for, how much would we we sort of you know think, well if we're at a boot sale and we saw this item, how much would we want to pay for it? Mm. And go along those sort of lines, don't we? Yes. Um so yeah. we've written lots of notes, so in the next video we'll go through all the research and um yes, the pricing, we how much we're gonna bid. Mm. But yes, for now, we are desperate to go and have a coffee. We, we are desperate for a coffee, yeah. Because we didn't have it. time for a coffee beforehand. No, no, that's it, no. I've only had one coffee all day, hon. I'm getting pretty grumpy about it. <laughs> I've had one too. You had a bigger coffee than me this I morning. Did, I only had a small coffee. <laughs> My nose is so cold, I can't even feel it anymore. So, um, yeah, it's been lovely going. I know it sounds like we're moaning, but um, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed going and look around because we haven't been for ages. We haven't been have we? for a very long time, and yeah, it does. Um, yeah, it, it's it's nice. It's nice to get back to it. Um, it's, it's it's a bit of a day out because you can go mm. and have a look around and look at some of the antiquey things that um, had these massive, great big bronzy style um, lines, didn't they? That oh. were up for like four and a half thousand. Yeah, so, they were um, lovely though. If you like looking at vintage things, it's worth going just to have a look around because you mm. see some some um, cracking things, don't you? Oh, you do. Yeah, definitely. At these auctions. So mm. yes. So, so yeah, that's so us. We've rambled on. Well, I've rambled on yeah, for long enough now, yeah, hon. That's it. Definitely. We'll Stop rambling. You, we'll let you go now. We're going to go off and go. go <laughs> we're going to have a coffee. Cheeky coffee, hun. Woo! Yes, and um, we'll get back. And uh, like I say, the next video will be looking about, into all this looking into it and about the research and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So yeah. Exciting, eh? <laughs> yes. So thank you very much for watching. And like I say, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, um, press the um, uh, subscribe button. Yeah. It is free. You don't pay anything. No, and, not um, a penny. Not a penny. <laughs> and then while you're doing that, you might as well click the notification bell. Yeah. And then uh, you'll be notified for our future videos. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thank you. <laughs>